Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I'm going to discuss the interest rate versus the annual percentage rate or known as the APR. Uh, here's an example. The interest rate is only the amount of money for the cost of borrowing the principal. So if you get a loan for $200,000 at a 4% interest rate, you're paying principal, but you're also paying interest. The annual percentage rate we have because it's the interest rate, but there's other fees frequently associated with getting a loan. Loan origination fees, uh, application fees, processing fees, legal fees. There's a long list of fees that could be applied to a loan. Today I'm specifically going to show you how to figure out uh, the annual percentage rate and the formula. I'm going to show you the formula in Microsoft Excel. Then I'm going to also use a mortgage calculator to do it. And I'm really focused on mortgage loans today, but you also have APR with credit cards. And I'll have another video on APR with credit cards, but today is just mortgages. So let's go ahead and get started. I pulled this screenshot that I threw next to my Excel file. These are some mortgage interest rates um, for Atlanta based on a $250,000 loan, sorry, $250,000 purchase price, 20% down of $250,000. That 20% down helps you avoid what's called private mortgage insurance. I'll cover that in another video. So therefore, I'm only going to have to finance fifty thousand from the two hundred fifty. That is the amount of money I'm financing. Right over here to the right, I'm going to take this very first one. The APR is shown at the top, and the interest rate is right below it. So three point seven five. Thirty years on this loan. 30 times 12 is 360, so I just typed in 360. So here's the very first function that I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, I'm going to use the payment function, which is equals PMT. It even tells you what it's going to do in the description. My interest rate is 3.75, but reference the sale. You pay your uh, house note monthly, that's making it uh, monthly, dividing by 12. Number of periods is 360, comma, and notice that PV, which is present value, is in bold. Um, by default, the payment function will give you a negative number. Let's just go show you that. The present value is how much money you're financing. It's not the purchase price, which is 250000 it is 200,000. The other two arguments are F, V, and type. They're not required on this one. So I'm gonna do Control, Enter, and there's negative $926, which matches up over there to the very first rate I'm looking at. I know I've gotta pay it, so I'm just gonna make it negative B4. There you go, there's your formula right there. Just to help you keep up with this, I will put this over here. The formula that I used, I'll put it over here to the right. Right there. So, if you notice in example one, they're showing you that fees are $999. So, the interest rate was just the cost of the money you're borrowing. So, you will pay $926 every month for 360 months. But the interest rate is lower than the annual percentage rate because of the fees involved. To figure out the annual percentage rate, you have to already have figured out the payment function. So I had to do that number right there that I put in bold first. So here we go. The function is the rate function. Number of periods is 360, comma, my payment, I'm going to do a negative, negative, whatever the payment is, comma, present value, how much money was the loan for, here's where it gets different, 
it's the $200,000 minus all those fees, loan origination fee, processing fee, application fee, whatever other fees are involved in that. And this will be my annual percentage rate. I ended up with zero. I expected that because I need to make that monthly. So I'm going to multiply it times 12. 4%. I'm going to expand it. I should end up with 3.79%. And I went out three times, 3.791, 3.791. There is your formula for figuring out the annual percentage rate. It is the rate function. Let's test it one more time. Let's take a look at that second loan down below. I'm going to change my interest rate to 3.75 which leaves me with the fees of 1150, giving me 3.797, 3.797. <clears throat> the annual percentage rate has to be displayed on your loan, whether it's a car loan, credit card, or mortgage loan. APR is required. This is because of a law passed in 1968 by Congress called the Truth in Lending Act because we needed to make it easy for consumers to be able to compare loans because one lender might say, I'm only going to charge you 5%. The second lender says, I'm only going to charge you 4.85%, but then they start listing all these other fees so you can compare apples to apples with the APR. I am going to do one more item in here. So this is working. Um, part two, which I'll do later this week, I'm going to show you on three different loans. They're all for $250,000 purchase price, 20% down. So again, they're all $200,000 in row four. But look at row five. I have different interest rates and I'm paying points on the interest rate. So the first one was 4.50. I'm going to pay one point, 4.50. I'm going to pay two points. I'll explain what points are in the next video, but I'm going to prove to you that you shouldn't always go with the lowest annual percentage rate when you're getting a mortgage. And I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't always use that rate. And I'll crunch the numbers for you in Excel and then share this file with you. So before we leave the day, the interest rate is the cost of money of borrowing principal, and you end up paying principal and interest. If by chance the interest rate was 3.75 and there are no fees involved, the APR would be 3.75. Here's an example of that one down here. It says third one, 4.25, 4.25, because zero fees. So let me undo that one time. Uh, the last thing to show you is there's also a mortgage annual percentage rate calculator. I'm on a website I'm not affiliated with them, annual percentage rate, uh, $200,000. Let's take this 3.75 with 999 in fees. So 3.75. I'll put a link to this calendar. How long are you going to finance this mortgage for? I've got it for 30 years. Um, I don't know what discount points, but I knew they had $999 in other fees. Again, I'm just reading over here, $999. So I should end up with a payment of $926. And I should end up with an annual percentage rate of 3.791 on this calculator. Yep, 926, 3.79. So it is working right here. I'll put a link to this uh, calculator also. I appreciate your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will cover this really cool video because I do a lot of functions in it. Uh, today is January 20th, 2020. I'll do this video on January 24th, 2020, where I'm going to show you where 
the lowest APR is not always the best APR to pick. Sometimes I would take the higher APR and I'll show you why. And I'll show you how the numbers work. Thank you for your time. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone has a wonderful week.